So let me ask you a question. As a dive instructor, are you a pocket knife or are you a multi-tool? Let's find out together. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina. And if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Make sure you click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now when you do your ITC program or your instructor training course, one of the things that you'll learn is to be profitable as an instructor, you're gonna have to play multiple roles. There's more to it than just standing behind a podium and teaching or going into water and blowing bubbles. So one of the things that I like to teach students is, is as a dive professional, do you wanna be a pocket knife or do you you want to be a multi-tool. The multi-tool obviously is going to have a lot better options for you to solve that problem and as a dive instructor that's what you're going to have to do as well. You're going to have to play dual roles as that dive instructor or even just as a dive master to be the most profitable that you can be. So with that being said let's jump into this video and let's see several different ways you can become more profitable as a dive professional. When we talk about Boyle's Law and Henry's Law, these are just some of the physics that you're going to learn in future classes, such as the Science of Diving, of course, as well. And it's very important that we understand what happens to our body and why it happens when we're underwater as well. So guys, when you teach scuba, this is just one of the ways that you can actually become or be successful as an instructor and earn revenue, but it's not the only way. This is what a lot of people want to do, but to be truly successful, you got to be able to go down different avenues or, and find different revenue sources as well if this is what you want to do for a living. So the thing about backplate and wings, they're a little bit more sturdy, they're a well-built system, they're going to be more versatile based off what type of diving that you're going to be doing. And to be honest with you, once you have it adjusted for you, it's truly going to fit like a glove. So guys, gear sales is one of those things that's really going to increase your revenue as a dive professional, especially as an instructor. Not only are you going to be fluent in all different types of gear and you're going to be able to help your students find the right type of gear for them, but also you're going to be earning revenue through commission sales. Or if you're the shop owner, you're going to be earning revenue as that shop owner as well. So what do we think? You're going to go with the back plate and wing? Now, another source of income for you, of course, is becoming a repair technician. One of the cool things about this is you're going to be a lot more desirable to your future employers because not only can you teach scuba and teach students about certain types of gear and how to keep it working, but you yourself can actually repair it. You can repair other customers or you can repair your students' equipment. And of course, there is a fee to this. You're going to make money not only teaching that student, but you're going to make money repairing their, their equipment as well. So another great option for you as a dive professional is obviously become a boat captain. There's a lot of dive charters out there that one day you may be the dive master, one day you may be the instructor on board, or the third day you may actually be a boat captain. Now this is going to be costly. It does cost money and it takes a lot of extra training. But to do it safely, there are a lot of waters out there that are considered navigable waters. And to be able to run a charter safely and legally, then you have to be a licensed boat captain. Now, like I said, this can be a great revenue source for you, but it's also going to make you a little bit more desirable to employers when they're looking at to hire a dive professional. So another way that you can be more profitable as a dive professional is having good marketing skills. And one of the best ways to do that, obviously, is through social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or even here on YouTube. Being able to not only market yourself to your future employers, being able to market yourself to your future customers is going to help you increase your revenue as a dive professional.
So guys, as you can see, just like the pocket knife or the multi-tool, you really have to make that decision. Do you just want to teach scuba and be in the industry that way? You're not probably going to not be as profitable as what you are as if you're some type of multi-tool that's going to allow you to do different things. Because I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you got any questions, do me two favors. Hit that like button for me, definitely share. And if you do got a question, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.